This is part three to our tutorial series for the grade eight project of a sphere, square, triangle, and circle. In the last video, we created our uh, three by three inch rectangle with our equilateral triangle hole that was centered. In this video, we're going to create that two inch equilateral triangle with an extrusion of eight inches with a one inch uh, circular hole. So again, we're gonna work with all our parts on the screen and I'm gonna show you a different way to create a part now. I'm gonna click on my sketch tool. I'm gonna to click on that front plane. I'm gonna click on the front navigation cube to orientate myself. And I'm gonna come up to my polygon tool. I'm gonna to click and drag out, left click to lay my polygon down. And then I'm gonna scroll down until I reach three sides for my polygon. I'm going to click on my dimension button and I'm going to dimension the base of my triangle to two inches. Now, I'm not going to extrude this yet. I know I'm going to have a hole in the middle of my triangle that is one inch. So I'm going to grab my circle tool. I'm going to place it on the center of my equilateral triangle. I'm going to drag out and go one inch. Now I'm going to come up to my extrusion and I'm going to angle this slightly so we can see it. I'm not going to select that center circle. What I've selected is that outside face. So when I extrude this part, eight inches now, I don't have to create a hole because in that initial uh, extrusion, by placing that hole in the original sketch, I've created it. So it's just another way to create a hole. I could have done that on either of the previous parts except my sphere because I would need that uh, plane one that we put on. If we come back, our next part is a one inch uh, diameter cylinder that ex is extruded 10 inches. So coming back to on shape, I'm gonna click my sketch. I'm gonna put a sketch on that front plane. I'm going to hit my center point circle and I'm going to make a one inch circle. And now I'm going to extrude this 10 inches. And what we can see now is I've created my four different parts. Now I did a really bad job and as along the way I should have been naming these parts. My part two was a rectangle with a triangle hole. My part three was a triangle with a circle hole. And my part four was my cylinder. And I'll right click on that and rename it cylinder. So what we can see is we have all four parts labeled now. And what we'll do in the next video is I will show you how to assemble them.